everybody and welcome back to Lucky by Nature. So today I am going to show you the ultimate way to tame a golem by yourself. So solo taming. And uh, you will not need any trap at all. And all you're going to need is a bird. You can pretty much do it with any type of bird. Uh, but of course the best bird to use in my opinion would be an RG or an owl but you need something that can carry a lot of weight because you're gonna be needing a lot of weight for all the cannonballs but uh, I, I believe that uh, there's always some over here by this water and uh, the first thing we got to do is if there's anything dangerous in the area, we got to clear it out. Uh, but once uh, we're cleared out, then I'll get right into the rest. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, now that that's taken care of, I think we got pretty much everything. There, there's a few dangerous things out there, but I think they're pretty far. So now we need to get ready for the next part. And uh, make sure that you put your bird into a high following range because that way they won't try to land because that would be devastating. As you can see it's uh, it'll stay there so it's good that's what we need. Alright so the way this used to work is you could come right off of it uh, uh, right off the bird with your parachute and everything would be fine but it's no longer that way and we noticed the change uh, here recently actually um, it's always better to have two people but uh, it's it can be done as, as a single player or a solo player but watch what happens <laughs> this is gonna be bad but let's do it this is uh, what happens see the bird just got hit and it's going down that's not the way it worked before. So we're gonna have to make it my bird follow me. Uh, the way it used to work is you would get off of it and kind of, uh, you know, whether you got away from it or not, um, you would just run around and it would come after you, just like it did. Uh, but of course, it wouldn't try to hit your bird like this, you see? Normally, it would not do that. But this is just a little change that has been done. So my suggestion is get your glider it works great with the glider so I'll go ahead and show you that so let's go ahead and put our glider on alright so we're ready ready to rock and roll and it will come after you okay it will but all you gotta do is fly away from it. Oh crap. Oops. I forgot to get this uh, bird from uh, following me. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, uh, I obviously I think it was, we're too high up because it's not concentrating on us. So let's go a little lower. Okay, we're low enough to bring it up. Okay, here we go. There we go. This is where we need to be. And like I said, it's going to try to hit us. But it should come after us. It shouldn't bother the bird. Here we go. He didn't hit me. I just uh, landed a little hard. And as you can see, it follows you. It used to not do that. But that's okay. We got everything under control. We just got to get past and bring it back towards the bird and uh, it'll it'll uh, pay attention to the bird and not us all right so here it comes we just gotta be between it and the bird see it's going towards the bird all right perfect now that that's settled now we gotta go and set ourselves up to go ahead and take it down, but I need uh, to set up my uh, cannon and stuff. 
But unfortunately, I forgot to get my uh, foundation. <laughs> so we're going to have to build that. But I got to take care of these guys here. I didn't even see them coming. But I'm glad that this is happening because this is reality. You're going to be dealing with things like this. And I do like to shoot these guys in third person because that way I can uh, reload much, much quicker. Crap, I think I hit the... I did. I hit the dodic. The dodicarus. So it's uh, going to come all the way over here just to mess with me. Oh, crap. <laughs> it's okay. All right. We got everything under control. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's taken care of. Everything good. All right. Like I said, not a never a dull moment. And also make sure that you have plenty of weight on your person because if you can't carry this stuff Then obviously that's gonna be a problem And the foundation doesn't have to be anything special because you're gonna end up destroying it anyway Because it's not like we're gonna do this again here And I would rather collect half of the materials Than just leave it here for somebody to destroy there we go. Alright, so I've been doing this for some time. So I should be able to get it on the first try. I think one up. I think one up should do. But we'll find out. Beautiful. Alright. So now, as you can see, it's looking straight up. So you're literally only hitting the head. And why that's good is it's not going to get any splash damage on the body. Which is usually what happens and that's why you get a uh, lower taming efficiency. So if I'm not mistaken, this should be, or it should start out at 100% efficiency. But uh, hopefully <laughs> it won't make me look like a fool. Because I'm, I'm getting this for, uh, for me and Vixen for our series. Alright, so now we just gotta put in the kibble and we're golden. Alright, so we went ahead and destroyed all our stuff and put all that extra stuff into all the resources into the RG. And we waited a little bit. It is uh, four times right now, uh, plus whatever we have on our server. So it should go pretty quick. But as you can see, it starts out at 100% efficiency. So it didn't make me into a liar. That's good. But this is usually what I come to expect now. Uh, it's rare that I get less, uh, that I start out at a lower uh, efficiency level or percentage. Because uh, this is our go to now. So you don't need any traps, you don't need anything like that. Uh, like I said, just get yourself a uh, good RG. Uh, make sure you have plenty of weight on your person. And uh, yeah, you should be able to take care of this no problem all by your lonesome. So there you have it. Hopefully this is helpful to you. That's it for this video. Till next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.